Fire Information Center. I'm Scott McLean with a special 4th of July edition of the CAL FIRE Report, coming to you today, July 3rd, 2019. But before we talk about the 4th of July, I'd like to give a quick recap of last week's fire activity. California saw a total of 258 wildfires across all jurisdictions last week. A few of those did grow into significant wildfires. As of today, all those large wildfires have been fully contained. As you can see from the stats behind me, we're still seeing a substantial decrease in fire activity from last year, even from the five-year average. But the potential for major fires is still there. So 2019, we're up to about 1,795 wildfires to date. 2018, same period of time, 2,615 wildfires. Acreage, significant difference. To date this year, 18,000, over 18,300 acres burned. Last year, same period of time, you're looking at over 145,000 acres burned. The vegetation is still extremely dry, and we all need to be vigilant and ready for fire activity as we move deeper into the summer months. Speaking of dry summer weather, we're looking at continued high temperatures and low humidity in much of the state. This means an elevated fire risk as we move into the 4th of July holiday uh, tomorrow and on from there. For Californians across the state, the 4th means family fun, barbecues, and fireworks. But did you know that two out of every five fires on the 4th are caused by fireworks? That's more than any cause, other cause during that same time period. And most of these incidents are related to the use of illegal fireworks, predominantly, and even some legal fireworks used inappropriately. Even fireworks that most people think of as harmless fun, like sparklers, can be extremely dangerous. They can reach temperatures of 1200 degrees and account for an astonishing 25% of all emergency room visits for fireworks and injuries. Again, 25%. For tips on how to prevent fireworks related injuries during tomorrow's festivities, we'd like to show this short video with CAL FIRE Captain Robert Foxworthy. I'm Fire Captain Robert Foxworthy. Would you believe that last year alone, CAL FIRE responded to 170 wildfires that were started by fireworks? Safe and sane or not, they can still cause a catastrophic fire. There are several things you can do this 4th of July to be more fire safe. Learn the local ordinances regarding fireworks. Only use safe and sane fireworks and only use them outdoors. Have a bucket of water and hose nearby. Read directions thoroughly. Have an adult present and only light one at a time. Don't let a night of celebrating lead to a preventable disaster. Do your part to protect your home and your community. As Captain Foxworthy mentioned, it's very important to know the local ordinances in your community regarding fireworks. Many communities throughout the state do not allow for the sale or use of any fireworks. Buying safe and sane in one community and using them in another community is actually illegal you need to keep them in the same place you bought them. In California, the use of illegal fireworks such as sky rockets, bottle rockets, Roman candles, aerial shells, firecrackers, and any other type that explode, go into the air of some sort, or move on the ground uncontrollably can lead to a fine of up to $50,000 as well as prison and or jail time for up to a year. This also includes legal fireworks used illegally in an area that bans the use of fireworks as mentioned before. Again, learn your local ordinances before you purchase any fireworks. Captain Foxworthy also mentioned that you should look for the safe and sane seal on any fireworks that you purchase. It's very visible. The safe and sane seal means that the fireworks meet certain safety requirements, but it does not mean that they aren't without risks. Remember, safe and sane fireworks are only as safe as they are used. As I mentioned earlier, conditions are very dry out there. It will only continue to get drier in the coming week. We urge you to please use common sense this 4th of July and to help prevent a fire from starting to keep your family safe. Have a bucket of water, a hose nearby if you choose to light legal fireworks. Make sure only adults are lighting them and always keep family and friends at a safe distance from that firework display. The safest choice of all is not lighting fireworks yourself and instead 
going to a professional fireworks show. Many communities offer professional shows every year which are both visually spectacular and much, much safer. However you choose to celebrate, all of us here at CAL FIRE wish you and your family a safe and happy 4th of July. Please do enjoy your time with your family and friends this 4th. I'm Scott McLean. Stay safe.